Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Not our official sponsor, Greenwood Stock Trading. If you want to learn how to make some passive income, some extra money, so you can invest in your future and your kids' future, give them a call for a free 10 minute consultation 281 760 3170. Go get to the bag. All right, man. I was listening to Coach Malachi show he did, uh, what was that Monday? And he talked about how he heard a rumor where uh, Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins advised, uh, advised, uh, Ryan Garcia not to take the, not to, not to take the contract to fight Javante Davis. Said the contract was so bad that they told him it was so one sided that he should walk away. And Ryan Garcia insisted on taking the fight. Or allegedly, he threatened to leave Golden Boy. Now, now I told y'all how this Ryan Garcia shit worked. Golden Boy just can't pick fights for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia got an advisor that go by the name of Lupe Valencia. So really, you know, Ryan Garcia and Lupe Valencia pick who they want to fight. Golden Boy might pick a couple opponents out, you know, that they want out. And Lupe Valencia, Ryan, you know, then they make a decision on who Ryan Garcia should fight. Okay, so. For whatever reason, you know, Ryan Garcia was hell bent on taking this fight. They said this contract was so one sided that Bernard and Ryan said you would be, Bernard and Oscar said you would be a fool to take. And I believe it. 136 pound catch weight. The money probably a little funny. Um, 10 pound rehydration clause. You know, and I'm surprised they didn't drag his ass back east. So Ryan Garcia seemed like he wanted this fight so bad that he took a bad deal. You know, and you know, people say, "Well, that's the deal. That's what Terence Crawford should have did." But then again, the difference is they probably don't have options on Ryan Garcia. That might be a big difference. Now, if Terence come Crawford get a cut over there and be able to, you know, pick and choose what he want to do next, then I think, uh, I think, you know, I think, you know, maybe, maybe they would have, you know, been like, "All right, cool, we'll do it." But uh, I don't think that will that will that's what the case was. Um, and you know, in the case, like I said, hearing the details, it seemed lopsided. You know, but like I said, where Ryan Garcia, y'all really would think Ryan Garcia was gonna fight Regis Progress in an alternative fight? Hell no. Y'all see why they told him in December, don't fight in October. Now you come back, uh, Jane. We need to push back to Jane. Let's push back. They really didn't have no, no. They didn't really want to make this fight, bro. We know they really didn't want to make this fight. For whatever reason, Al Heyman just don't feel like he need he need to make big fights. I don't know what why. Every everybody win. Even if he make big fights on his side of the street, everybody win. He refused to make uh his own inner league fights, bro. And Ryan Garcia took a contract that 99.9% .9 of fighters wouldn't take. And it ain't like he need the money, from what we know. I know he got some kids. But he do pretty well outside of the sport of boxing. It ain't like he need the money. I need money. It ain't like he need the money. You know? And, you know, credit to him. for to, he, if, he, if you feel like you can win, you can win, you can win. But guess what? When you win this, you don't win a belt, a Reggie belt, a, 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 the Golden Retriever belt, the Intercontinental belt of the world you don't win none of that you know so i think it's about the money i, I, I don't know but i know he ain't got nowhere else to go who can i run to when i he ain't nowhere else to go a lot of the mexicans hate fighting guys that utilize the ring so that, you know, you can't hit somebody and they got that perpetual wound and Ryan know he can't do nothing. He figured Tank small, Tank got shorter arms, which it ain't that much shorter, but Tank gonna have to come to him and that's gonna give him a target, an easy target. If I secure Stevenson and Devin Haney, he gonna have to work for the target. He just gonna get out pointing. He feel like if Tank catch me, I can catch Tank. He see Tank, Tank start off slow. And he feel like he can lease, you know, he can catch Tank, come, you know, before he pick it up. So it ain't no alternative fight for him. He keep going. He ain't gonna keep be able to fight, you know, cherry pick the Fortunas and, and and guys like that. He ain't gonna be able to cherry pick the Fortunas and shit. 
You know? He gonna have to, you know, actually... He gonna have to actually, like, like, like... Fight somebody real and fight an actual contender. You know, at 40, ain't no too many easy fights out there. And people gonna be asking what world champ. That's why I think if he loses this fight, bro, obviously it's gonna be some built-in excuses. But I, I think he might be done, bro, because who, who he gonna whoop? Now, if Roley get a belt, then Roley, you know, Roley be Puello by some fucking miracle. You know? I can see that happening. I can see that happening. You know? I could. But I don't know who else he can cherry pick. Sabrell Matias? I don't think he can fuck with him. Just my humble opinion on that. So, you know, so... But yeah, I don't really understand that around the story. I ain't really, un I really don't understand like, you know, the whole, you know, the whole once lopsided contract. It ain't like, you know, Ryan, maybe they feel Ryan Garcia is a big threat. I, I guess so. You know, I feel like Tank should be the easy, but then again, you know, this Tank take a while to pick it up. Tank start off slow. I mean, I just ain't seen. I just ain't seen. I shut up. I just ain't seen, you know, somebody act, you know, they, as scary as PBC act, bro. That just, it just don't really make no sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? But if you, if you kept your, if you kept your fighters active, you know, and, and you, you groomed them right, I don't, I don't think this would be a problem. You know, but. But Ryan Garcia signing that contract, either he's supremely confident or, you know, he feel like this is the only chance to, to accomplish something in boxing. And I feel like it's, it's to the point where, you know, he just think it's his only chance. That's my opinion on it. I don't think he feel like he can compete with Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, Lomachenko, Regis Progress, Gabriel Matias, Puello, and guys like that. I don't think so. I think they look at Tank as being, you know, not disciplined inside, outside the ring. Not 100% dedicated to his craft. You know, then you got the cases coming up. They might be like, this might be the best time to get them. You know? So, they could be right. They could be wrong. You know, but Tank lose this fight, bro. Baltimore should never allow him to come back in the metro, metropolitan city limits. He should never be allowed to come back. Real talk. He should never be allowed to come back. He should never be allowed to come back. Real talk. He should never be allowed to come back and compete. But, you know, apparently, you know, De La Hoya and uh, Bernard Hopkins told him, don't sign that contract. And he signed it. So, you know, you know, I, it ain't like the type of fight just like Mayweather and Pacquiao or Mayweather, yeah, Mayweather and De La Hoya that's going to turn him into a superstar. Like I said before, you know, it's a lot of built-in excuses for Ryan Garcia. It is. But once you think about it, how he did Fortuna on the way, and he caught Fortuna knowing he wasn't training you know, um, you know, uh, change the weight on Emmanuel Tago. So he ain't no saint neither. He ain't got nowhere else to go. Al Heyman and Tank tried to get out this fight. They content with fighting bums. They takes no risk. And when they fighters want to take a risk, that's when they get knocked off. Cause they ain't groomed right. They ain't ready to fight. You know, they ain't ready. They ain't ready to throw down. Cause they ain't been groomed right. They ain't been, you know, they ain't been, you know, they ain't been brought up the right way. 
But if Tank lose to Ryan, that's the end of PBC. The end of PBC coming regardless, at least on Showtime. We know it when Steven Espinosa wouldn't commit to them and say, you know, he said, yeah, we, we, you know, we signed, you know, that we know we got a deal that's through 2023. We're here for the short term. All right. For the short time. Oh, we don't know how the economy is going to look. I'm like, all right. That's what he said. And one like show how I'm boxing signs a two or three year deal to stay. Mm -mm. We going off his word. And I believe what he's saying. They here through 2023. <laughs> and maybe not past that. So it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Shout out to uh, Coach Malachi. I go subscribe to uh what is it new media he changed it uh true media uh true media true media new uh true me media boxing today hopefully i got that right man but uh shout out to him thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel and subscribe button it's the bell icon button hit all notifications increase your chance get notifications we go live drop video financially want to support the channel cash app dollar sign cj good 313 venmo cj good 313 paypal link in the description peace